But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. That is John 14 verse 26. These are the words of our Lord Jesus Christ before he ascended into heaven. He told us that he would not leave us as orphans, but he would give us a mighty helper who would lead us, guide us, and empower us in our journey through life. Welcoming the Holy Spirit at the start of your day is very important, saints, because you guarantee yourself divine protection and guidance throughout your day. In today's busy world, many people never have time to spend with God in the morning. They jump out of their beds after the alarm goes off and they quickly start preparing for the day to go to work to earn their daily bread. One thing we should realize, saints, is that when you are with God, then all things will fall into place very smoothly. And that is why it is important to make a little time to invite the Holy Spirit every morning so that He can take control of your day for you. What exactly is the Holy Spirit though? It is the spirit of grace and empowerment that is upon Christians. It is the spirit of life and light. The Holy Spirit is the spirit sent by God to us believers to live in us and to be our guide and to convict us and bear witness about God in us. This spirit enables us to have peace, love, joy, happiness and so on. Through this third person of the Trinity, the Holy Spirit, we have access to all the spiritual promises of God. It is through this mighty Spirit that everything that has been made was made. This is yet another awesome day that the Lord has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. My name is Evelyn and I want to welcome you all to today's video. If you have stopped by our channel for the very first time, I want you to know that you are here by divine appointment. You are in the right place at the right God appointed time. In this channel, we are all about living victorious lives using the powerful word of God. And we only have two options in here, to conquer, or to conquer. So if you are ready to conquer as well, declare it in the comment section below by typing the words, I am ready to conquer. And I will welcome you into the family as well as speak a word of blessing upon your life. According to Romans 8:14, the Holy Spirit teaches and leads. It says, for all who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. The prime work of the Holy Spirit, therefore, in the life of a believer is to teach and lead us in everything we do and in all our ways. 1 Corinthians 12, 7 says, A spiritual gift is given to each of us so we can help each other. Therefore, the Holy Spirit is our only source of edifying spiritual gifts. We are entitled as children of God to one or more spiritual gifts and this is made possible to us through the Holy Spirit. Romans 8.26 tells us that, And the Holy Spirit helps us in our weaknesses. The Holy Spirit helps us to know how to pray and what to pray for. He guides us in knowing what God wants us to pray for. He gives us the words and strengthens us as we pray. Notice that when God knows that we need to be strengthened in a particular area of our lives, He does it through the Holy Spirit and by His power we are strengthened. I just love Romans 8.11. It is very empowering. It says, The Spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead lives in you. Just imagine, saints, that the same power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead dwells in us. How awesome! We are more powerful than we think, saints. Let us tap into this power and live victorious lives. Let us tap into it so that we can have what Galatians 5.22 and 23 says we should have. It says that when you have the Holy Spirit, you produce good gifts, which are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against these things. Nobody can bear these spiritual fruits except by the help of the Holy Spirit. They are called the fruits of the Spirit. Ephesians 1 6 is another powerful one and it tells us that with the Holy Spirit we have the seal of ownership. That means that we are assured that we belong to God. Having the Holy Spirit is a confirmation that we are in a relationship with our Father in heaven and we are indeed his children. It is a stamp of approval that we are the children of the Most High God. Say the following prayer points every morning, saints, to welcome the Holy Spirit to lead and guide your day 
and to invoke his mighty power to strengthen you to face the day courageously. Holy Spirit of the Most High God, teach me, lead me, and guide me in all my endeavors in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, fill my life with the light of the Holy Spirit and take away all darkness in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, let the Holy Ghost open my spiritual eyes to see more in the Spirit, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit of the Most High God, direct me to live a life that will glorify the Father in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Sweet Holy Spirit, fill me with anointing to fulfill my purpose on this earth in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, give me the Holy Spirit so that it can help me subdue the power of the flesh in me in the mighty name of Jesus. Mighty Holy Spirit, sanctify and purify me in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, let your Holy Spirit power strengthen my inner man in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, my dear friend, comfort me and give me peace in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, let my helper, the Holy Spirit, give me divine directions and lead me in all situations in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, give me the Holy Spirit to strengthen my weaknesses and my shortcomings in the mighty name of Jesus. O oh Lord, by the power of your Holy Spirit, empower me to fulfill my destiny in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, and amen. If you have any prayer requests, please don't hesitate to share it in the comment section below. Also share your testimonies so that you can be an encouragement to others in this family. If you have found value in this video, please show your appreciation by giving it a thumbs up. And for those who have not subscribed, please take this opportunity to subscribe and don't forget to turn on all notifications so that whenever I upload a new video you get notified and also so that you can get more uplifting and motivating videos to bless your hearts. Also remember to share this video widely so that many people can be blessed. Until we meet again in the next one, may our good Lord bless you and keep you. And all the saints said, Amen.